Okay, guys, we are going to walk through converting a lead to a potential or deal in Zoho CRM. The way that our system is set up, um, whenever a potential seller goes to our website, they have the option of requesting an offer. So we are going to enter information as if we are that seller and we're going to submit it so that we can see it automatically populate in our CRM. So I've already got Sally Walker's information in here. I'm going to submit her asking price and then go over to our CRM. I'm going to hit refresh here. Her information automatically populates into the CRM. So there's no need to manually type the information in. Whenever Whenever we go in and um, view these um, leads, we go in and change the company name to the street and city for the property address because we found that that works really well for us for, you know, throughout the system going all the way through to a potential ordeal. So I'm going to hit edit and change the company name to the street and city. Okay. Hit save. As you can see, the lead information has quite a bit here, including solo information for the lead as well, um, which automatically populates because we've got that customized and integrated in with our CRM. Um, you can also see emails. Um, they're tracked here. You can see when they've been opened and um, when you what you've sent and when. And then also comps from Zillow. All right, so I'm going to convert her to um, a potential ordeal. And what it'll also do is it'll also create her, create her as a contact and also create an account for her, as well as the, the potential ordeal. We're going to do an example here where we're going to get an amount of $5,000 from this deal. We're going to set a closing day for around the 28th, which this can be changed later. And then we're going to set the stage for qualification. and hit convert. You have to be sure to check this box to create the potential of the deal or you'll have to manually type that in. All right, so you'll see that an account has been created for Sally for her property. Um, she has been created as a contact and then also a potential. Okay, now under potentials, we're going to go in and we're going to set our numbers. Um, those numbers are driven into the quote as well as contracts because those are automated to where um, they will generate once we do a mail merge. I'm going to edit. Go ahead and edit the investor name because this is what will be on the contract. And in this case, we're going to put it Cash Jam LLC which is our LLC. And then I'm going to put in the offer information. Let's say we're going to set the um, lease option price to 257 with the option fee being 6,000, the seller receiving 1,000, Thirty-six hundred for seller concession and a payment of fifty-nine hundred. Okay, and then we're gonna hit save, and you'll see where all of these numbers will actually automatically populate into the offer, which will be a separate video. So now you can see the balance is also calculated, the balance received, you know, to the seller after seller concession and whatnot. Okay. 
So that's basically from start to finish moving in, you know, as a lead all the way through to a potential. And um, just catch my next video on how the offer and the potential is generated in a PDF format. All right, guys, if you have questions, just contact me. My information is below or you can find me on LinkedIn.